Welcome to an episode of Pick and Pop, where we talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. Today, I got Big Citric in the house. What's cracking, dope head? Let's go. That's right. Woo! Now, when Elon Musk came out with the Tesla autopilot system, I don't think he exactly had this in mind. So instead of being alert and using the autopilot function on Tesla's responsibly, people are out here just falling asleep. Yo, dude, I love how like both of them are just straight knocked out. <laughs> the, the driver looks like he's giving himself some. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what was going on. Uh, yeah. I, I, with, with the seatbelt, I mean, that's that new restraint. That's, that's that new exercise. He's trying to do it with the seatbelt on. And, and I mean, I love how the other one's just like, like homie straight knocked out. And here's another example of someone doing the same thing in California. Yo, this one is like one of my favorites because homie's just, homie's just right here like lean like a cholo he's song. Like it's like chilling, yeah. chilling. Like, at least tint the windows, bro. Right? I'm like, like you, you think no one's going to see you do this? Like, like, that, like that takes a lot of yeah, ball. Like, man. I mean, there are people out there who do all types of things on the freeway. Some people try to cheat the carpool lane. Like you're out here legit sleeping. Like how do you not know a cop's going to not right. find you? This guy must have been really crazy. I mean, I mean, I mean home, that shit's straight bold. Like, I know you remember that song when it came out back in the day, like, Ghost Ride the Whip, Ghost Ride the Whip, watch him slang, watch him slang. <laughs> Yo, this takes Ghost yeah. Riding the Whip to a whole new level. I love how in this video, at the very end, it's like, he knows that someone is watching. <laughs> and at the very end, if you look, like, he's just like, oh, let me, let me grab the steering wheel. Oh, yeah. like, like, oh, wait, what? wait, did something happen? What, what happened? What? Now, some of you guys go to the bank, you know, you're happy that maybe your checking account has gone up a couple dollars or so. Well, this one couple in Pennsylvania went up by 120 grand. Okay, we're talking about someone at this random bank accidentally put in the wrong account number and deposited $120,000 into this couple's bank account. Police say the couple living here at this home on Cypress Street in Montoursville got themselves into hot water after spending money that wasn't theirs. Dirt. Hold on. <laughs> she over here saying like that wasn't theirs. I'm like, are y'all you trying to relate to the common man? Like, well, like, well, because I feel like that's some southern slang. I think she's been hanging out with Chingy too long. Okay, like I, I, I like the way you do that right there, right there. Best here say Robert and Tiffany Williams had one hundred and twenty thousand dollars deposited into their account at BB and T on May thirty first. Bruh, what is BB and T? I ain't never, yeah. like, if, if this was going to happen to a bank, it would be to a bank called BB&T. Hold on, this ain't Wells Fargo. This is not Bank of America. But instead of contacting the bank about the deposit, the couple allegedly spent most of the money, all in two and a half weeks. If you randomly went to your local bank and you had 120 grand in there that was not supposed to be there, what would you do? I would probably withdraw it. Would you, would you, <laughs> hey, yo, what, yo, what would you spend it on? Man, I, I, probably hookers and cocaine. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, you might actually do it, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Police say the Williams also used the money on bills, car repairs, cash purchases, and even gave fifteen thousand dollars to friends in need of money. Yo, that's my man. whole thing. Yo, giving fifteen thousand dollars to friends. Like, I would have said, hey, homies, you guys got to pay up now. Help me pay this bill back. Like, 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 how, like, how do you collect on that? How do you go to your friends? Like, hey, yo, you know that 15 grand I gave you? Uh, nah, homie, uh, I need that back. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of stories like these is when they interview the local folk, okay? Y'all got to check out my main man, Yosemite Sam. You can do that and check in with the bank first before I did anything. I'm, I'm not that dumb, but I mean, yeah, some people do stupid things sometimes. What was up with your boy's outfit? Can, can, can we break this down real quick? <laughs> kind of reminds me of an uncle of mine out there in Mexico. I guess that's that's the style, man. It's a rancher. <laughs> Los rancheros. I didn't know they. I didn't know they had rancheros Los up in Pennsylvania. De Los rancheros de Culiacán. The couple is now facing felony theft charges. A man at the Williams home said he was Robert's father. He was Robert's father. <laughs> he, he disowned him after this. You know, right. Right. <laughs> is there any way we can talk to Robert Tiffany? No. I'm like, I'm like, yo, is it really that serious? So you got to go up in people's garages like this? <laughs> Do you I, have? I have no idea. I don't even know what's going on. I'm just the dad. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, you know exactly what's going on. <laughs> 
He's like, I'm just a dad. Well, I'm a dad too, but I would know exactly what's going on. <laughs> Robert and Tiffany Williams were released on $25,000 bail. But I'm still wondering how to get bailed out if they use some of that money. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> There's automation nowadays. I don't know how this really happens. bb and T, man, that must stand for broke, broke, and tired. I don't... <laughs> and the NFL season is upon us, and with that comes autograph seekers. We got a little child wearing a Giants jersey trying to get an autograph from defensive end Demarcus Lawrence. Yes, Demarcus. Like, first of all, I love how like like the parent just pushed the kid out there. Get out there, son. <laughs> like, like your job as a parent is to protect your children. Like, she knew what was going on. She knew, like, this was maybe not the best idea. But she was like, oh, yeah, maybe he won't say anything mean if he's just a kid. Yeah. Get the right jersey, son. That was messed up, though, man. Well, first of all, I wouldn't send my kid out to just push him out just like that. You know what I mean? If he wants to do it on his own and go get the autograph, cool. And for you, what's the weirdest thing you've ever had to autograph? Uh, man, I probably got to say a hooter. Where you autographed a hooter? Like the yeah. actual worker or what? No, an actual, like a titty. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, the girl just came up. Goes, hey, I recognize you, man. You're in that show with uh, George Lopez. Lopez. And I go, yeah. And she goes, yeah. She goes, you didn't sign my titty? Who? We signed it. <laughs> and then what was everyone else's reaction? I was like, ah, it's tight. <laughs> so I had to just kind of do it like right here. I can't pull my titty out, but yeah, somewhere like right here. Now, usually LA is known for high speed chases, palm trees, traffic, all types of stuff. Never in my life have I seen an on foot chase in shallow water at Venice Beach. I mean, <laughs> Bro, I want to know, yo, is is the show Cops still around? Are they are, are they still producing new episodes? <laughs> From the looks of this, they might have. They like, might be. <laughs> like like my, this my is wild, like like my whole thing. Like you got like seven cops like chasing you on the beach. Like what could you have possibly done to get eight cops in Venice Beach? <laughs> Man, probably stole the joint. I don't you, know, you know what I mean? mean like, like, you know, pizza slice, something. Venice is a weird place to begin with. So to get <laughs> yeah. that many cops chasing you on the beach like that. Oh, and then what I want to know, too, is like, 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 what was he thinking running away from the cops, like going to shallow water like that? Like, this reminds me of like one of those scenes in Grand Theft Auto yeah. where you're just kind of like, whatever, let me go in the water. This dude messed up because he didn't have no cheat codes. You, right, thank you, thank you. Like he was right, like yo, Chico, 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 Chico swim. Man. They can't swim. Swim, get, swim, swim. Get, get. We got one, two, three, four. Like, and then the ones a, with the shorts are the ones that come in. Last. Right, they're like, nah, nah, we good. And they then got I, a chopper. Like, like, bro, is a helicopter really necessary? Is that is, is this man a wanted fugitive? If he jumps in the water, he ain't going nowhere, man. How far can he get? That's what I'm saying. Is it that serious that you need a helicopter to try to? Get this guy, look, look at that. That's like seven cops. I feel like he was just like, yo man, I'm just trying to get one last wave, bro. Come on, dudes. Have you ever had a crazy story where cops are chasing you? I don't want to incriminate myself. Oh no, we, yeah, oh yeah, we don't have to do all that. Well, I, just... I remember one time I was running from the cops because I had just, you know, did something I shouldn't have been doing. And I tripped, I fell on the floor and I took a little nap for five minutes. You took a, you took a nap? Yeah, I don't know why, I just tripped and I fell and I took a little nap for like five minutes. When I got up, the cops were coming, running, and, and I was still able to get up and keep running though. Really. Hammer in my hand. And, you had a hammer. And a, and a, and a, a crowbar in the other hand. So wow, that wow. That kind of tells you what I was trying to do though. Yeah. Okay, okay. And now it's time for the Viral Victory of the Week. Now for some of you uh, Breaking Bad fans, the Viral Victory of the Week is dedicated to you. So apparently this gentleman uh, got captured in Illinois and has a striking resemblance to Walter White. Not to mention he was also under arrest for meth charges. <laughs> All bad. <laughs> I mean, like, we got TV imitating life. Like, how wild Dude, is this? Man, they better give this guy some residual money right? or something, man. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel like, that, like that's that look on his face where he's like, uh, so, sorry, kids, no, no autographs, no autographs, yeah. no, no, no autographs. I mean, what I want to know, why is his beard dyed purple? I thought it was a tattoo on the back of his neck or something. When you do meth, you dye your beard purple. I don't know. Things happen like that. All right. Thank you for watching the latest episode of Pick and Pop with your boy, Big Citric. Woo! Make sure to subscribe, like, share, follow us on Instagram. Till yeah. next time, Lego.